the day we go off to New Zealand to take on this gym. Now in this vlog, we're gonna be doing some preparations. I actually leave in about six hours to catch my flight and the gym battle and everything and whatnot is going to be included for tomorrow's episode. So be sure to come back tomorrow, it's gonna be sick. But in the meantime, I don't think my team is exactly up to scratch. So I'm gonna go ahead and do some last minute training before we leave. I've got six hours to prep for the trip. So hopefully we get some last minute Pokemon court and uh, should be exciting. Like always guys, if you are enjoying the Pokemon Go adventure, let me know with a like rating. And of course, if you're enjoying this type of content, be sure to hit that subscribe button as well. Let's get out in the field, shall we? Yes, I did grab a haircut. I don't know if I like it yet. Alrighty, so no camera crew out today, but I've got exactly four hours before I have to leave to go to the airport. So I'm just gonna get a quick session in while I can to get some quick levels and of course catch some Pokemon that I want to catch that I haven't caught yet. And I actually have a pretty cool theory to prove with you guys and that Pokemon have legit dedicated spawns to certain areas. I was chatting to a mate last night and he was like, oh, I heard about your Kangaskhan. He was like, don't worry, if you go to a place called Sunnybank, there's actually a dedicated spawn for Kangaskhans there. And he was like, yeah, I've got three here. And I came back the next morning and they were still there again. So if you want to go get like high level Kangaskhans, go to Sunnybank. So I'm going to go test this out. I'm going to drive to Sunnybank. It's like a 20 minute drive and uh, see if we can find some Kangaskhans there. If they're there, then that means then... I guess there is like kind of dedicated spawns for like certain things, like the Dratinis. I, because I remember seeing this thing on Reddit, and it was like, I think I have a Dratini spawn in my house, and it had a full page of Dratini's court, and it was like, yeah, I guess you do. I, however, live on a Doduo and Zubat, and it's great. I love it. Oh, so good, best spawn ever. All right, so I've just arrived at Sunnybank. I'm messaging my mate right now, and he's like, dude, my mate just drove past five minutes ago and said he saw one. But yeah, as you can see on my screen, I've only got some Weedles. It's all brown, like Weedles, Doduos, Spearos. Like, it's not great. It's not good at all. He's at, at the netball courts, and there's literally a netball court right behind me. All right, so anyway, the other half of what I wanted to do here was to go ahead and evolve a couple things. So I'm going to pop my Lucky Egg. I'll pop my Incense as well. Might as well. Extra Pokemon. Who cares? There's a Weedle over here. I'll catch him in a bit or he'll probably disappear first. So yeah, this is our team at the moment. Nothing much has changed since the last episode, but one thing I did want to do as well was try to get our Helix code up to a thousand. I can power him up twice here. So if I can get between two levels, um, I need to get 35 levels and we've nearly done it here. So we'll do it one more time. And there we go. Just like that, our first level 1000. And of course he's the Helix God himself, the chosen one. I don't know why, but in an episode I did previously, people got mad at me for having my view in this screen where I could see all my duplicates. Like, I just use this to see the duplicates. And uh, one other cool thing as well is that we've got enough candy to evolve Metapod. Now, I've already maxed him out best I could. He was getting, like, five levels every time. I was like, this isn't worth my Stardust. So I'm just going to go ahead and evolve him right here. Hopefully, we get, like... Jeez, I'm not sure what level to expect here. Maybe, like, 600s? I mean, high 800s would be absolutely insane. But here we go. Mr. Metapod, he's going to give us a 2,000 EXP drop either way, new Pokemon and, of course, an evolution. So this is going to be hype XP. Here we go. Someone's parking right next to me. Great. All right. Don't worry about me. I'm just playing Pokemon Go. <laughs> I literally parked in a desolate place just to do this. All right. Anyway, what do we got here? 590. Not too bad. Okay. So just after I did that evolution, I had a look over here. We can already see a three-step Kangaskhan. So he wasn't lying. Definitely Kangaskhan's around here. I think we shouldn't wait, and we should probably go try to find this guy, so let's go see how we go. I hope we don't lose this guy. Okay, so apparently there's this theory on Reddit that if you're looking in the direction, it will pulse. Now, I'm not sure if it just does this, like, randomly, or if it is actually a thing, but if you look around in the direction that you look around and it pulses, then apparently it'll pulse even more if you're going in the right direction. I don't know how I feel about that. I don't think that works like that at all. Alrighty, apologies guys, it is a little windy out, but we're on one step for a Kangaskhan, I think he's just around the corner. I seriously wish right now I had a film crew, but there he is, Kangaskhan is found. So this RSL club right behind me, you guys can see it, is uh, it is literally just the place for Kangaskhans. Like, all my mates have been talking about it, this is the place to come get them. 396, alright, let's hopefully this won't be too hard. But yeah, that's a new Pokemon, and holy damn, is it worth to come out here. So if you live in Brisbane, check out Sunnybank, Easiest Kangaskhan to life. Apparently these just come in all the time. Once again, apologies for the audio. It is very hard to try and catch a Kangaskhan at the same time. I think I'm gonna lose him. I think we're dead set gonna lose him. I have to put the camera down. <laughs> it has this angle. I hope this angle works because I literally am about to lose this guy. My great balls are just curving off the side. I think we're, he's about to run away. I dead set think he's about to run. 
they're just curving all over the place here. I can't land a great ball to save my life. We finally landed one. Please. No. So we're officially out of great balls. And now I'm gonna lose this guy. You cannot be serious. I legitimately don't know how it hasn't run away yet. One, two, three. That took over 20 minutes to catch and everyone was looking at me. Oh, that is the most stressful catch ever. We got him. Kangas gone only level like 400. It's a new Pokemon, it's whatever. I'm just so glad I can leave this place now. Kangas gone down. Whew. Okay, so of course, shout outs go out to mom for going ahead and grabbing stuff out of my wardrobe. I've been very busy today, but I'm gonna go ahead and pack it all in this carry on. I think we're only there for a day or two, so shouldn't be uh, too much to carry. Now, could you believe, oh wait, no, I was about to say the service were down, but it just came back. Don't worry about me. All right, so the time has come. We're off to Wellington to take on this gym. Now, we've got some last minute training here at the airport. There's a gym there, and there's a gym inside right next to our gate, so we're gonna take that on. This should be pretty bad. But uh, yeah, it's about to set in, and uh, I'm a little 18 at the moment, so it's gonna be interesting. It's time to go to Wellington, boys. Airport, what about it? The gym is right at our gate. So we take it on. Let's have a look what they got. Let's have a look what they got. Snorlax, holding the door at 920. Polyros, and an executor. I don't know about that one, guys. Airport's got gyms on lockdown. Dude, imagine if there was like a rare Pokemon out in the tarmac. <laughs> And we, we found it as like the plane was driving through. That'd be pretty sick. I, I, I'm i actually excited for we get on the plane and he drives around the top and we try to find Pokemon. It's gonna be sick. And we'll do the door again. All right, while they're doing what you got on the airport, let's do it. Easy bangers. Try to wish that No. They're running over Monday noon. <laughs> Myself a crappy dodo -do airport coming in with the goods, man. How many Pokeballs did it take you to get that dodo? Only about 10, but we don't talk about that, really. All right, so this is going to be practice for the Wellington Gym. The Rainforest Shield Sculptures, which are over there on the, on the wall. Um, it's not looking good here. Snorlax, the whole crew. Uh, this is my team at the moment. And uh, it's going to be tough. It's going to be tough. All right, let's do it. Oh yeah, Slowbro coming in big. Just at the airport, you know, training, that's how it is. We've won, now we just need to claim it back. We're gonna do it again. Just like that, he looks got his claim to gym. Billy, how does it feel to know someone that just took down Team Valor? How do you like that? He's actually red team, by the way. He said he's red team. Yeah, I don't even know how to change uh, off the team. You can't, you can't change. But yeah, Team Instinct taking a W here at the Brisbane International Airport. Holding it down for the squad. He looks got there to help protect it, but it probably won't last very long. New egg hatching meta right here, boys. This is what it's all about. You should just do a couple laps, go around, come back, go around, 
Come back. Easy case. Easy case. and boy was it a struggle. We got stuck in customs and ended up having to pay like a nearly $200. We meant to pay $200 but she gave us a little bit of a discount. Thanks. Uh, yeah, we had to end up paying $200 for the drone because apparently it wasn't registered with GST or something. It was, we, I mean, confusing, confusing things. That's all I'm gonna say. But yeah, we're gonna get some rest, uh, try to edit today's episode of Pokemon Go and then we'll hopefully see you guys tomorrow out in the middle of this lake for this gym. See you guys tomorrow. Later guys.